Good morning, it's Sunday. We had the time change. Um, I charged the ID5 GTX model year 2026 at home at 100%, drove here, um, preheated the battery, three times I accelerated full and slowed down and it was almost full warm. I got 50 kilowatt at 88% and now at 99% I still get 35 kilowatt. So it's in a second uh, ready. I already prepared everything for the range test, filled my intro, took the pictures. Um, for Instagram I made a little video but I haven't uploaded it yet but everything is set I'm just waiting till it reaches the hundred percent and then I go in and drive and it's extremely early because of winter time um, I slept an hour longer driving my range test at usual at 133 uh, my consumption was extremely high in the beginning but it's going a bit down but still I think I will have under 300 kilometers of range but I have to see maybe it gets getting better it's getting warmer and anything and the speed limit coming of 120 boo let's go slower um, yeah, but everything is nice. It, I, I'm frozen, even though it's six and a half degrees. Ooh, that's the animation for the, oh, you didn't see, for the lane change. Um, it's it's pretty, pretty much the same. Um, did I say that I saw another thing that's new in the head-up display and in, in uh, software 5.4? It's that you can see the parking sensors in the head-up display now. That's new, I like that. It's a great idea that you don't have to look somewhere how close you are to something. You see it in a head-up display. I love that. And it's raining, cold, and therefore I need a lot of heat. Ooh, bumpy here. Turned around on my range test, not driving back yet, but just on this highway I turned around um, consumption is still high it doesn't go down still range is at around 270 kilometers with the 79 kilowatt hour battery it doesn't have the 77 anymore but the drive is nice that the road is 100% wet so it's a bit more more road noise but the wind noise is fine I can understand my podcast and everything I did my first range test, 275 kilometers only, but it's still freezing. And during the charging test, and I also made a mistake, um, I forgot to turn off the automatic air, the charging stop. So I, I, I navigated back here and it said you arrive with 16%. I was like, huh? That seems a bit high. And then I drove a bit further and it says 17%. I was like, eh? And then, oh my God, I'm an idiot. So I arrived with 8% instead of 11, what I wanted, but it's not bad. Um, charging test, I saw 189 kilowatt, even at 29% or so, pretty good. And still here at 55%, we are at 113 kilowatt, so it will go under 100 kilowatt at around 62, 63% I'm guessing. Um, and then when I'm done with the charging stop, uh, I will do my next range test. Yeah, stupid. So still, since I have all of my suction cups used, all of them, I have one, two here, then the big one here plus the third to stabilize, I only have one a suction cup left but the tiny one and this uh, didn't want to stick today and since this is not a new battery I think it will have the same charging curve as the old one I'm just filming with my tripod here and it's not raining too strong so this GoPro should take it even though it's broken here and it has the hole for charging I have an extra door so it's not waterproof but so far it's still blinkety blink Everything's good. Done my charging um, to 80% and I'm now on the range test with 110. And the charging took 
30 minutes or so, but I also plugged in at 5%, maybe even 4. But still, the first to 10%, maybe it's one and a half minutes, maybe two. So it's still 27, 28 minutes from 10 to 80%. That's more than I thought. Yeah, it's still cold out, six and a half degrees. Uh, it's not raining, it was barely raining. Maybe a few minutes on my range test and it doesn't look like it's raining right now. For a while I see blue spots of the, of the, of the sky. God, I couldn't remember the word. I'm an idiot and old. I found another thing that's new with 5.4. So the seasonal things, that means right now it's Halloween. So we have uh, bats in the in the display here and when you press the home button then treats come down um, that has been around since 5.0 or 5.2 but i saw it in a head-up display in a head-up display when i start the car when it does the animation with the volkswagen logo it showed bats flying out of the logo that's new I'm on my last stretch for the last range test. Uh, navigated to the charger. I have turned off that it preheats the battery and everything. And it thinks I arrived with 12%. I think it's going to be a bit more, 14, 15%. So I don't have to charge. I will then go home. Just film the ending there. And then go home, I think. I think that's it today uh, so I could be home a bit after 12 that's awesome but I also got up at 5 30 or something I'm done with my tests I'm driving home I was at 14% when I left the charger now I'm at 13 it's 23 kilometers and most of it is uphill so I put the car in eco mode I put the heat down, put on low airflow, and I'm accelerating very, very slowly. <laughs> because what car was that? I had one car, was it the EV3, where I arrived with 1% or so, and it was then stressful. Um, yeah, so we're driving 80 up the hill. Doesn't have to be 100, and also doesn't have to be acceleration full right now. We're driving up the hill slowly and then when the hill is gone I'm gonna accelerate to my hundred not driving too fast um, yeah and we're gonna take the shortest route and the most economic so the most economic route what does the Sun blinding me in the back there we go he's so right I'm still not straight but soon and then we drive so fast even have a power limit oh, we're 12 percent ah. the car thought I will arrive with four percent I'm now at seven and only four under four kilometers away and there's one tiny little hill now 6%, so I think I will arrive with 5. That's fine. <laughs> Let's go to the nice fall part here with the trees and the leaves. Isn't this nice?